how to use the layers in Photoshop and we're going to do this by making a sandwich. So open the assignment for the sandwich and you can click into the document I provided you um, and there should be three dots in the top right corner when you click into it. Go ahead and click those and open this in a new window. So when it opens in a new window you should have some additional options one of which is to download. So go ahead and click the download button here. Okay, now we can open Photoshop. So there should be a PS on your bottom toolbar. Go ahead and click the Photoshop icon and then you will hit create new. And for most things in my class, you can choose default Photoshop size and create. Okay, so I'm actually going to use this one as an example. Um, so now that you have a, you don't have to type example. This is just so you know it's an example. You are going to go into your finder. Your finder is a blue and white little face on your icon bar. Um, and one of the most recent things in your downloads, if you sort by date modified, should be your hamburger ingredients. So we're going to click on it and grab it here. And now I have all of my hamburger ingredients. If I am to drag it, you'll notice it starts to do this, which we do not want. So instead, I am going to hold shift while I drag from the corner. And if I hold shift, it will keep the um, document proportional to itself. Okay, so here are my hamburger ingredients, nice and big. Perfect. And I'll just keep this right here. Um, so in the bottom right corner, you will see the layers that are already existing in this document. Um, right now I have the hamburger ingredients and then my word example. So on the hamburger ingredients, um, the little eyeball will help you to either make that layer, excuse me, visible or I can click it and it will make it not visible. So I am going to see all my hamburger ingredients and then I'm going to come up here and click convert to layers. And this will help Photoshop to see it as a layered document. Now I'm going to add additional layers for each of the items in my sandwich. And if I add additional layers, this means I can start to move them around and to stack them. So over in the bottom right corner, you're going to see a little mini toolbar that's for the layers area. Um, and I'm going to hit the plus sign, which will let me add a new layer. And then if I double click there, I can name it something. So I'm going to name top bun and I will have the top part of my sandwich. Okay. Now I'm going to show you a couple different methods for selecting items. Um, these are all different tools on your left and if you right click there are tools within the tools. So you'll find related tools here. The third one down is a lasso tool and it will help you to just draw a circle around something. Um, the bottom one is called magnetic lasso. So if you click on magnetic lasso what it is going to do is try to guess where there is a difference in color and it is going to put the lasso at that area. So all I have to do is drag. I only clicked once at the beginning and then I'll click once at the end and then you'll see the little ant show up which shows that it's selected. Now once an item is selected you can do many things with it. Um, if you go to the move tool here you can grab it. Oops make sure you're on the hamburger layer. You can grab it and move it and do other things, okay? But for what we're gonna do today, we are going to just copy it into a new layer. So Command C to copy it, and then you can go to the top bun layer and Command V to paste. Okay, that was V as in Victor. So C, Command C to copy, Command V as in Victor to paste. Now, if I was to turn the eyeball off on my hamburger layer, I would still see my top bun here. And that is because the top bun has an eye next to it, so I can see it, and my hamburger layer does not. But it is there. So I'm going to turn off my top bun, and now I'm going to add another layer and double click and name it lettuce. Okay, so with the lettuce, we're going to choose a different selection tool. The fourth one down, I'm going to right click and choose object selection tool. The object selection tool allows you, make sure you're on the right layer here, to drag a box around something and it's going to do its best to guess what you want selected inside that box. And you can see it does a pretty good job. So it's going to select the edge of my lettuce, which is quite wiggly. And then I can go back, actually I don't even need to do my move tool. I can just Command C, 
Click on my lettuce layer, Command V to paste. And you'll see right here, real tiny, that it's added a lettuce to my lettuce layer. Okay, now I'm gonna click a new one, tomato. Okay, and for the tomato, we're gonna go fourth down, right click, and choose quick selection tool. Quick selection tool is nice because you just select the middle of an area and then, oops, wrong layer, and then it's gonna guess where the outside is. So if I just select the middle of my tomato, it's gonna say, I think this is the outside of the area you want. Okay, so now I have my tomato selected, Command C, go to tomato, Command V. Okay, so we're just gonna keep doing this to a couple different layers. I'm gonna add meat. I am going to add bacon, very important, and I am going to add a bottom bun. So you don't have to do all the layers, just choose, let's say at least six that look interesting or yummy to you. Um, so for the meat, I am going to maybe go back to the object selection tool. And from here, you can kind of choose whatever you think looks, I know, I was on the wrong layer. You can choose whatever you think would work best for selecting that item. So there's my meat selection, Command C to meat, Command V. I'm going to do bottom bun. Perfect, Command C, Command V, and now I need a bacon. Okay, I'm gonna drag this here. Command C to bacon, Command V. Okay, now I have all my individual pieces selected. Um, I have at least six items, so I'm going to turn off the original ingredient list, and I'm gonna make sure that all my other ingredients are turned on. So you'll see all these little eyeballs for all the other ingredients turned on. Okay, now I have to go to my move tool. My move tool is the very top tool in my toolbar, and it will let me move items around. So I'm gonna to start to stack things into a hamburger, but you will notice that the things I want under other things are not under other things. And what that is, is because over here, they're in the wrong order. Okay, if I want my bottom bun to be on the bottom, because you can see now it's on the top, I'm going to have to drag it to the bottom. So where that little blue bar is, that is where I'm dragging something to. So you see when I moved it, it moved layers. So my top bun, if I drag it to the very top of the layers here, like this, then it becomes the top of my sandwich. So the same way you would stack a sandwich is the same way that we are going to stack our layers. So I want my bacon to be, I want my lettuce and tomatoes to be above them. So I'm gonna move my lettuce up here. I'm gonna move my tomato up here, maybe under my lettuce. And then I can rearrange them slightly so that I can see things better. Okay. So this looks pretty delicious. Okay, so to turn this in, you can do Command Shift 4, and that will take a screenshot of the thing that you finished. You can also come up here and do File, Save As, and you can choose Save to Your Computer and save the file to your computer that way.